This institution, which we are part of and which respects the rights of minorities uh, within the institution, has functioned throughout its history, respectful of minorities, but has not gone to the extremes we have now reached, where we are now using the cloture motions and filibusters as, as commonplace. So we have gone beyond deliberation to somewhere near deadlock. For some, that complements their political philosophy. They don't want the Senate to do anything. Uh, and I guess that is an approach that can be served by this use of the rules. But I don't think it serves our purpose in, in society at large or our purpose in this nation, where we are expected to deliberate but to decide. In the last six weeks, I can tell you what our business has been. We spent one entire week in the Senate debating on whether we would extend unemployment compensation by four weeks. We spent the next week in the Senate debating five nominees, all of whom passed with more than 60 votes. So there clearly was very little controversy associated with them. And now we're on our fourth week on the Wall Street reform bill, which we hope to invoke cloture on this afternoon. At this pace, there are so many major issues facing this nation and the Senate that cannot be considered. I think it is part of a strategy. Unfortunately, the rules complement that strategy and uh, benefit that strategy. Now, I've been on the other side of this argument as well. I was a whip when we were in a minority position with 45 votes, and I needed to find 41 uh, when necessary to stop cloture. Uh, so I know that you have to look at this from both sides of perspective, but I do believe that we have reached a point now where the American people are losing faith in this institution. And I don't think, whatever our purpose may be, that if that is the ultimate result that we are serving our democracy, we have got to find a reasonable way to respect the minority, but to stop what I think is clearly uh, a destined gridlock for this great institution.